Hi guys! This is the Audiofool and for today, we're going to review the Totem Acoustics Rainmaker Speakers. I've read good reviews about Totem Acoustics and I'm particularly interested with the way they have lock mitered cabinet joints and have glass coating inside the enclosures. This is particularly interesting for me because I just recently assembled a speaker kit from Parts Express and I realized that making a good enclosure is actually quite difficult and you can spend tons and tons of money to improve it. And this probably explains why the KEF LS50 still sounds better than the cheaper yet similar Q350. It's the enclosure. So now I have the Totem Rainmakers and to be honest, they don't look like a thousand dollars. They don't weigh like a thousand dollars. They don't feel like a thousand dollars. But do they sound like a thousand dollars? Let's find out. But before that, let's take a closer look. As I mentioned, it doesn't really look very special. The five and a half inch driver can't possibly match the 42 hertz frequency response. And this is at plus minus three dB. You also have a one inch aluminum chamber dome tweeter and it weighs an unremarkable 12 pounds as well. Sensitivity is 87.5 dB at 4 ohms resistance. At the back, you have the quad binding post for bi-amping purposes, as well as a small port, which again doesn't seem to point let, like it can actually do 42 Hz. You can now get the KEF LS50s for $1,000, so let's see which of these will be the better $1,000 speakers. For tries with the pass by subtract, the totems play the third note almost perfectly and it does this better than LS50s by having tighter bass with more textures. Totem claims the Rainmakers can go as low as 42 Hz plus minus 3 dB and I believe them. They also have a faster pace and an emphasis on the treble so you immediately notice more sparkle and more brilliance. Vocals, as always, are more forward than the LS50s. For I've Got You Under My Skin by Frank Sinatra in a duet with Bono, the totems have that faster pace and you can easily hear all of the details in the background, but the vocals are more forward than the LS50s and the horns are less shrill as well. The sharpness of the highs in the totems make you feel that the speaker is more cleaner sounding but it sorts of loses out on the delicateness of the sound for nor jones don't know why i definitely appreciate the more laid-back approach of the ls50s with the vocals more forward and the instruments less aggressive the totems sound sharper and cleaner and every piano guitar drum note has that emphasis has that extra emphasis but some of the textures are smothered by this emphasis. For Alicia Keys, If I Was a Woman from the MTV Unplugged album, the totems have a wider soundstage and every note again has that extra emphasis and you also have tighter, punchier bass. It feels a bit bigger and you can hear the details, a lot of the details, and you can definitely feel the V-tuning of the speaker and boy does it sound fun. For Pints of Rome by Spiggy, the LS50s have a slower pace and thus a slower pitch, but it still doesn't feel as elegant as the totems. The totems have a lot of separation between the instruments, there's lots of space between them and you can easily pinpoint them wherever they are, and they don't drown out each other unlike the LS50s which kinda starts to sound a bit compressed together. So which of the two speakers would I choose? Well, the Totem's 1 in 3 out of 5, but it's still not a unanimous decision, so it still really depends on what songs you listen to. If you listen to a lot of vocals, you go with the LS50s, and if you listen to more bass-intensive songs, electronica, dubstep, orchestra, you go with the Rainmakers. Of course, if looks are a factor, then you go with the LS50s. Next up, I'm going to compare to another $1,000 speaker, the Zoo Audio Omen Dirty Weekends. For Trials of the Past by Subtract, 
the Zoo Audio Omen, Dirty Weekends do the three bass notes perfectly, but the totems are really, really tight and they sound punchier, so it really feels like they go deeper even if they don't. They also have a bigger soundstage, but the Zoo Audio has, has that 3D imagery which makes the vocals a bit more forward and a bit more alive. For I've Got You Under My Skin, the totems have that wider but flatter soundstage, and it also has that cleaner, more precise feel but with sharp edges. And the horns sound a tad too high pitched for me, but more so than that, the Zoo Audio has that vocals which are forward and more relaxed, airier feel, which makes Bono and Frank Sinatra a bit more fun to listen to. For Nor Jones, Again, the Zoo Audio has that 3D imagery which really makes the vocals of Nora Jones sound alive. But it doesn't sound as clean as the totems and with the totems you can easily hear the instruments in every detail. For Alicia Keys, If I Was Her Woman, despite being the smaller speaker, the totems actually punch harder and stronger than the Zoo Audio. And it also has that emphasis in the treble which makes you feel like you're uncovering all of the details around you but at the same time the Zoo Audio still has the 3D vocals which are a bit more forward but in the end I was having much more fun with the totems. For Pints of Rome by Respighi, the Zoo Audio has a slower pace and has a deeper soundstage which gives the instruments a little bit more space but it's still no match for the totems wider soundstage where the space between them is even more so than the Zoo Audio. The, again, the Zoo Audio sound a little bit compressed compared to the cleaner sounding wide open totems. So, which of the two would I choose? Again, we have 3 out of 5. And again, it lost the same songs. So unfortunately, again, it still really depends on which songs you listen to. If you put more importance on vocals, you go with the Zoo Audio. And for everything else, you go with the Rainmakers. The Rainmakers have that emphasis on the highs and the lows. But unfortunately, that emphasis comes at a cost. Some of the vocals and mid-range textures that I'm used to are kind of overshadowed. But I don't really find them missing because I'm having lots of fun with the speakers. Which is what I like the most about the Totem Rainmakers is that their V-shaped tuning really makes it engaging and lots of fun. You have tight grippy bass from a small speaker. And the emphasis on the highs really tickles my ears. It makes it a bit cleaner, clearer, and more detailed. What I don't like about the Rainmakers is that the looks, they don't they certainly don't look like a thousand dollar speaker and I preferred the looks of the LS50 and the Dirty Weekends. And another thing that I don't like is that I've read some reviews and they say that it could get a bit harsh or sibilant in some systems. And while it was perfect in my amps, my Ragnarok, it was okay in my CXA80 and Arkham A39, I can certainly imagine it as being a bit more fatiguing in some systems. What I hate about it is that while it's really nice to have that emphasis on the highs and the lows, the textures in the mid-range and vocals are missing. Well, it's not really missing, it's not really lost, it's still there. It just really need to concentrate more to hear it. Unlike some other speakers like the Tectons, which really make it just easy to, it really just comes out naturally. This time, I really have to listen intently in order to hear all of the details in the mid-range. But I'm having lots of fun with it and it's really, really very engaging. So I've been audio fooled. V tuned speakers for very fun sounds. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them down below. See you in the next video.